Attentive teaching, advocating calm, cultivating resilience. Hi, this is Cindy Schwartz at Attentive Teaching. In this episode, we talk about a real problem that many of us have faced in our classrooms, the act of settling down or quieting a class. So here we go. This might sound familiar. Class is supposed to begin. It's 7.50 a.m. and the morning announcements are over and the room is noisy, it's buzzing, kids talking, oblivious to the fact that you need to start class now. Whether it's a high school class where sadly we are given maybe 42 minutes, but really after attendance and announcements, maybe you have 35 minutes to teach, or an elementary classroom where there are time and curriculum restraints as well. All you know is that you need to get this class moving pronto. You've asked the kids to settle down and they've not. You've asked them again and they don't. And then a student sitting near where you are standing asks you a question that only you can hear. So you bend down to answer the question and you know that that is the unwritten signal for the other students to talk even more. And it's getting even louder than before. And then you think it's been a while since an administrator has popped in to observe you. And you get that butterfly feeling that today may be the day that that administrator comes by. So how will you settle the students down and begin your lesson in an empathetic, non-reactive, calm way? Well, why not try this? It has worked for me. Stand in the middle of your room and ring a meditation bell. Most students will quiet down almost immediately, especially if you've never used it before. As it's ringing, gently ask your kids to raise their hand once they don't hear the chimes anymore. They have no choice but to be quiet because they won't be able to hear when the chimes stop chiming if they aren't quiet. When the chimes stop ringing, pause. Look at your students and say, I'd love to ask you the most important question of the day. How are you? After they respond a bit, ask if there is a volunteer who might want to ring the bells tomorrow. Now, here are some other suggestions for quieting down a class that have worked wonders for me. Start class by playing music. Sing a song. Tell a joke. A guy walked into a restaurant. (laughs) They'll look up. They'll watch you. Maybe have a piece of art projected on the whiteboard, either a painting, a sculptured piece, an architectural building, something up there, and ask who knows what this is and what the message might be. It will capture them right away. Draw droodles on the whiteboard, and I'll do a a podcast on what those are, but they are fun, engaging, puzzle-like, and will quiet everyone down immediately because they will have to pause and think, what is it that I am looking at? And after you've had about five minutes to complete one of these little settling down the class exercises, you'll probably have a calmer, more attentive, and smiley room of students ready to focus on your lesson for the day. You will have had them at hello. And think about it. You may have single-handedly changed a student's day by settling them in a connecting, bonding experience that gives them solace and hope that someone will consistently set boundaries, make learning fun and relevant while modeling self-regulating behavior. I hope this has given you some doable tips on quieting your class. Let me know if they work for you or not. And if you have any suggestions on what you have done in the classroom to help your students settle in, please reach out on our website or social media pages to tell us. Thank you for joining us today on Attentive Teaching. Join us each Monday for a new podcast that sheds light on the challenges we all face in the classroom. Visit us at attentiveteaching.com where you can find links to our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest pages. Subscribe on Apple and Google Podcasts, Spotify, or your podcast app of choice. This has been Cindy Schwartz. So nice of you to stop by. I wish you a beautiful teaching day tomorrow and great peace in your classroom.